So today I decided I wanted to make another one of those big tags, those Tim Holtz, etc. tags. I was putting these away. These are two. This one I made just recently, and this one I made a couple of years ago. And I thought, I do not have one for Valentine's Day. And I love these. So I kind of went through some of my some of my packages of paper and I decided to go with the Lots of Love by Doodlebug Designs. So I kind of have a mess here, but I mean, I was picking out all the cute things. I think I'm gonna go with these two and this is the background paper. Just gonna make it super easy and I might use some of these. And these I got out because can you even take how cute these two cherries are? Like really, and then hopefully I can incorporate these these adorable little um, clouds. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what paper pack I'm using, and then I'll get this a little cleaned up and do a little more organized job. So the paper I'm going to use is the Happy Mail paper, and I think the reason why it is called that is because look how cute that is. Like, see, this was just the cutest set to me. Just adorable. Anyways, um, I'm going to trace this out, get a clean cut on it, and be back. All right, I'm just going to use my Distress Collage Medium to adhere this on. I won't make you guys wait. I'm just going to brush it on with a paintbrush. Okay, so it is on. I have smoothed it down. I put a lot of collage medium on there. I feel like these little boards are kind of thirsty. It is not perfect. I will trim this up. And right here, it's a little short. I somehow trimmed it a little too short. So just know you don't have to have these perfect if you're going to edge them. So I decided I wanted these little guys popped up on here. And I thought this scrapbook.com was having some kind of sale where they had all of these. This one I've used. These two, I don't, I don't really haven't used. I can see I used a little bit, but this, these wind up being so perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And if this one fits, I might have to trim it down a little bit, but yeah, that's all I'm going to do is trim this up real quick. All right, so just simple as that. I just trimmed up a few little pieces, two big pieces, two small pieces. They fit right on there, surprisingly easily. So I am just going to try to make the video shorter. I feel like my videos have been longer so lately. So I am going to just kind of arrange these. And then once I get them set, I will come back. So I decided I wanted to have a little bottom on here, like a little base. And I thought, I don't really want grass. And I was looking at the mini icons and there's this strip right here, but how weird is this? I had to cut it on my guillotine. So you need a paper trimmer to get that off. I thought that was strange. It, well, let's make sure it's a sticker. It feels like a sticker. I Yeah, it's a sticker. And I am going to pop it up. I don't know. I'm just wanting dimension for some reason. I'm going to pop it up on this. I hope you guys are getting some Valentine crafts done. I haven't noticed a ton of Valentine's videos on YouTube, which is good because it gets me up and creating. But I do love to watch I love Valentine videos in particular. I don't know why. I think it's the colors. I think I love all the pink and red. And this is a little bit longer. So I think I'm just going to trim it once I get it down. There. Get that on good. This is going to be cute. I know not everybody is a fan of Doodlebug, but I really like Doodlebug. And I don't I don't play around with their collections as much as I should. So I'm going to stand up over this. Okay, I'm going to pull this out of the screen and then get it lined up. Okay, pretty lined up. And then I will cut this off. Take 
them up. And I'm not 100% decided on this, on um, exactly what I'm doing. But see how there's a little spot right there? I thought if that's, that spot was unsupported up top, it would it would get bent in storage or just, you know, anybody picks it up and looks at it. And I, oh, maybe I'll do Happy Valentine's Day. I've got the shape sprinkles. Has anyone noticed that when they're white, after a few years, they turn like cream? That's, that's disappointing to me. Oh, I have hearts. That'll be cute. And then I've got the sprinkles. So I, I was looking through my stuff like, where's, did I just buy the paper? I'm so disorganized. I've got to get organized. I have got to get organized. Okay. So we're going to have them here. I, I feel like those need to be popped up too. Okay. I have trimmed up and it's not pretty. I just traced it on some foam, cut it out and then kind of cut inside where I traced and it's not beautiful, but, um, and it's definitely not perfect, but it will work and it will keep them. I think I want it popped up. I think that'll be fun. And it's easier to line it up. Whenever I do this, and I rarely do this, uh, it's easier to line it up from the back. And then you turn it over to the front. I think that's, I think it's easier to do this than to piece little strips of foam. But I know some of you out there are like, uh-uh, no, it's not. <laughs> you know, just certain things some of us can't stand to do. just place it on there and like I said it's not pretty but nobody's gonna see this part get it lined up for some reason I got it lined up really good there okay and I am being summoned upstairs to change an Omnipod for my daughter so I will be back in a minute you know what I should bring one of those down let you guys see um, what an Omnipod looks like. That's what she uses for her insulin so she doesn't have to get shots every day. All right, that's going to dry. I'll go do the Omnipod and I'll be back. So just thought I'd show you guys. This is her old Omnipod. You just get your insulin out of here with the needle and then it's in a little package. And where is the hole? I think the hole's right there. You just take the needle, the full needle of insulin Stick it right down in there, fill it up, and then you discard of the needle tip and the pod. And this is how it goes in it. And these right here are great for pulling ink in them and squirt and getting a big, a great splatter. I'll have to do that one day. I'll save that right here as a reminder. I've done it before <laughs> to see how it would work when she first got it. And these things are life changing because every time a diabetic, a type one diabetic eats, they have to do a needle and um, with their insulin. And with this, this stays on her for three days. This is the little, the little piece that's inside her. And it really slowly dispenses her insulin. So it's like, I can't remember. It, it's really small, the increments. She can have a big meal. She can need, say, 10 units of insulin. It, it might take 10 minutes to get all the insulin in her. But that's all, and, and it's painless from what I understand. That is a lot different than taking 10 units with that. So, we love the Omnipod. So, if any of you guys know anybody that is a type 1 diabetic, after about a two-week period of learning it and learning how to use it, it's the best thing going. If, you know, if your insurance covers it and all that stuff. So, anyways, I will be back after this dries. And if you're wondering what this is, this is the adhesive that sticks it onto her skin. So, but this is the old one. I'm going to go discard. Okay, so as I'm deciding what to do, I grabbed a stamp set. This is an older stamp set from Queen and & Company. And I just stamped out the hugs and kisses and Valentine wishes 
and I did it with this ink, the VersaFine Pigment Ink in Onyx Black. I used to watch people on videos and think, you can't just stamp and do it on a block and, and get it out. Yeah, you can with that. <laughs> that is great ink. I am looking at how I want to do this. I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is cut part of this off and stick this behind them. Or not necessarily behind them. I have to figure out how to do this. Because I popped this up, because I wanted it to be elevated, I don't think I'm going to pop that one up. But because I popped it up, because I kind of want it off the side now instead of in the center, so now it will be behind this guy. Okay, I think this is how I like it. I'm going to move that. And I like them up, but kind of like, you know, they're celebrating. So I'm just going to... Just see what happens and trim this at this angle. Maybe I'll go a little below it. I can always cut twice and put him back. They are so cute. Yep, I need to cut more off. Oh, this is nerve wracking. And then I will not need this on here. I'll peel that off very carefully. Oh, okay. Not, not, not too hard. Okay, that's cute. And then I can kind of embellish. I feel like these need to go down first. him down first. Okay, I think that's good. Then I'm going to focus on getting these down. Oh, I wonder if I should pop this right here, give it a little support, maybe just a tiny bit of support. There, now it's got a little extra support right there. And feel free to fast forward while I glue, but this is all I'm gonna do. It is a um, very rainy day here today. It's very dark, overcast, and rainy. It's kind of been like that around here for the past, I don't know, four or five days? Kind of crazy. Well, that is super cute. I'm gonna pop that off a little bit more. I'm gonna wipe off some of this glue because I don't need that. But I wasn't sure where it stopped. Look at that cuteness. Okay, and we will get her down. And I'm not going to secure these with glue. I think this is probably pretty good adhesive on here. But I am going to secure that little straw down. There, so that stays down and protected. And so easy. These are so easy. These I'm surprised more people don't do these. I love them so much, but it could just be a me specific thing that loves these. Okay. 
Okay, so cute. I'm gonna think about the ladybugs down here on the bottom. I'm just not 100% on them. I kind of want to pop this one up too. I don't like what is up with me wanting everything elevated today? So I just used the large scrapbook.com and piece and we'll just stick this down. They are super cute elevated. Super cute. I'm trying not to cover up that hole. Okay. And I should have thought about that, but that's okay. I could put a little cornstarch on that and that will not be sticky anymore. I have a little cornstarch thing. So I made this forever ago. It's just a spice bag. Like when you're making soups and there's just cornstarch in it. Don't put baby powder. Baby powder is not a healthy thing to breathe in. And then sticky no more. I bought those spice those spice bags from I think you pronounce it Sir La Taube. I don't I don't know if they're around anymore. Are they around anymore? I don't know if they're around anymore. But when we lived near Pittsburgh, I used to drive into the city and go shopping there. Oh my gosh. I loved going shopping there. So I I don't think I'm going to border this. I think I'm just going to pop it down the way it is. That is on there really good. Very secure. Very happy with that. And if you don't know, if you don't have any small little stamps with sayings on it, I know Lawn Fawn typically has things like that. That could be Lawn Fawn. Now that I think of it, it could be Lawn Fawn. This hugs and kisses and Valentine wishes. I went through a period there where I was buying a lot of Lawn Fawn stuff. I think their stuff is super cute. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty even. Oh my gosh, so in love. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me. <laughs> and there was something I wanted to ask you guys at the end of the video. Yeah, so I want to ask you guys a question. When I'm done putting this all together, I think my glue gun, yeah, it is all warmed up. Move this. Yeah, I now that I'm looking at it, I, this, I don't know. It's either Queen and Company or Lawn Fawn, but Lawn Fawn tends to have tiny little, cute little saying things. So I'm just going to pop this around and all I do is I put, I will put this up on a plate stand. I'll take a picture of it and put it at the end of the video. It might, oh, I might make it the cover. It's so dark right now. I'm like, it is crazy dark in our house because of the bad weather and it's later at night. I'm going to, I'm going to guess it's around 5 PM. I'm not sure. Oh, if any of you guys have seen any really good Valentine videos where people are making projects, let me know in the comments. I'm like dying to watch some good videos. And I don't know why, if it's not coming in on my feed or what, but I have been watching Patty's channel, Mommy and Me. I always enjoy her channel. And <laughs> the people are sending in some really, really cute stuff. So it makes me want to buy a a jelly tote dye, but I really just don't think I need one. I like, I think it's KS Craft has a lip one. It's super cute. But like I said, I don't think I need one. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should try to turn my lips that I have from KS Craft into a little tote, into a little bag. Ooh, that's a good idea. That would be fun. I'm trying to think of something cute to give to the teachers that is small because like, I think I have to make nine or 10. I can't remember. I think I have to make nine. And then I have to bring them up to school because she says it's embarrassing to bring stuff up there. Plus, I mean, nine items, that's a lot for anybody 
to carry along with a backpack. And, you know, it's so dark when they get dropped off at school at what, like 7.20 or 7.15 in the morning? And, oh my gosh, people have been being so crazy around here in our drop-off line, and our pickup line. She had a medical emergency. She ran out of insulin in her Omnipod, and I had to go rush up there to pick her up. The nurse called me. I had to rush up there to pick her up. It was just 10 minutes before school got let out. So, the line was full. I'm trying to get these strings off. I don't want to the line was full. So I pulled in and I parked into visitor parking, which is absolutely allowed. And I parked, I ran in. And you are supposed to, if you guys have ever done a drop-off line or ever been in a line, like, hello, um, you, you just, you line up. You just wait your turn and as you get there. Well, there's this one black expedition it is a huge black expedition. A beautiful car. I've seen it cutting the line a lot. Like, I've seen it before. I don't pick her up. She rides the bus home in the afternoon. Her dad drops her off in the morning. So, I am not up there that often. But the sometimes I am, maybe once a week I have to go up there because there's an issue or I need to drop something off with the nurse or she has an appointment. You know, it could be anything. It could be an orthodontist appointment. And that black expedition is usually sticking out like a sore thumb, like off way over here where it's not supposed to be or racing in, driving an inappropriate speed. And all I know is a woman drives it. And I don't know what grade the 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 child is or children are that she picks up. I don't know because I get in line and then I don't see her anymore and she speeds off before everyone else. Well, so I'm parked. She pulls up and you are not supposed to pull up in that area. That's not part of the line. She bypasses the entire line. And when I say she bypasses the entire line, she bypasses about 35 cars. And... She parked, she just so happened she parked behind me. So I'm guessing she's done this before. So this would be, the kids would come out the door and she, I was in the front spot, I was the very first spot. They, all the spots were full though. And then, then right, you know, right on the curb of the school, everybody's lined up to pick up their kids like they're supposed to. She parked right behind me. I mean, I had just enough room to get my small car out because I'm in like a, it's like a little BMW X2 and it's shorter and it's shorter and lower. It's kind of like a, a mix between uh, an SUV and a, and a sedan. And so my car is teeny tiny compared to this car. And I want you to know, she saw us come out. She saw Isabella and me get in. She's surfing on her phone, all entitled. And I'm trying to back up, all, all the way thinking, I've got to get her home and get insulin in her. Her blood glucose is it's creeping past 200. You want it around 100. And... So I didn't have time to get out and be like, would you mind backing up? And I shouldn't have to. So I just backed up, backed up, backed up and went forward. And there was a man that, I mean, I was coming really close to his car. It was somebody's grandfather. And I just shrugged. I just put my hands up and shrugged my shoulders like, I don't know what to do. Well, I want you to know the next time I came up to school, I think that caused such a commotion. Like, I think people were so appalled <laughs> Her behavior. They had barricades up on all those sections. And I thought, yay, and I didn't even have to like complain or confront her. Yay, I was so happy. But you know, just you never know what somebody's doing when they're um going in the school and coming out and it's excused, it's completely allowed by the staff. They don't just let people um come in and out of the building at that time. That's a very busy time. So, I don't know. I don't know. I just, if you see people acting crazy, let somebody know to help others out. So, because that really, 
that made me happy to see that she was not there anymore. Oh my gosh, this, this is turning out so festive and so cute. You could do it lighter and do pink around it, but I just think the red against all that pink just really made it pop. I want something to really stick out when I put it. I put stuff, we have a record player. It's my husband's record player. I gave it to him for Christmas one year. And it's on like a, I don't know, like a stereo stand table. It's so cool. Bought it from Home Decorators years ago when Home Decorators still existed. I'm going to cut this off my mat. It, the the um, tinsel sticks to my mat and drives me crazy. <gasps> Ta-da! Look at that. I still got tinsel on my mat. <clears throat> that is so cute. So I'm going to decorate it up a little bit. So I'm torn between using a foam glitter heart and using one of these. These I think I want just like a foam glitter heart. I think this one's too big just because there's a lot of faces right here. So, and it really matches well with this. So I will put this one. I like this one. This one's, they're all different sizes. I remember getting those at Walmart last year. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that matches really well with this. So we've got them in love. The two coffee cups are in love. Oh, that would be really cute. Really, really cute right there. So I have these, this one I didn't glue down. I, I purchased recently the thinner, um, what are they called? Upholstery needles off Amazon and I need to make, oh my gosh, that is so cute. I need to make some more of these. So I don't know if you guys would rather just see the finished product or let me know, would you rather see the finished product or would you like me to make another one of these? Cause I've made these on here before. I know I made one at least. Oh, so cute. I hope I'm still in frame. Yes. That is so cute. And then I kind of wish I had different sizes of hearts, but I don't know that I do. Okay, so I grabbed this out. This came in red, this fuchsia, and silver. And these were from Walmart last year. And I pulled this heart off. And I think this is the same heart. I think I like this color better. I think I like this color better for the two of them. There, and then I think I'm just going to maybe scatter a few small of these, these hearts around. So hearts are so easy to find. Yeah, that's cute. And then I wonder if this big one be cute there. I feel like something needs to be up in this corner. No, I do like that. Should be a small one. These are very sticky. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. You just can't have enough hearts, right? Maybe I should scooch this one over. I mean, they're sticky. I don't want to tear my stuff. There. Okay. Well, that is cute as a button. Maybe that's too many now. I am being so particular with this. Okay, I'm gonna move this one down. I mean, this is a lot of hearts. Hearts on hearts on hearts. Okay. Wow, these are super sticky. I mail ordered those, I think, from Walmart last year, so they were online. Yeah. 
Okay, there. Okay, I'm done. So I just embellished with those and then these three and I should get a ribbon. Let me get a ribbon. Okay, so I am back and I went through my Valentine bag and I cannot find any Valentine ribbon, which I find strange, but who knows? Okay, so I, there's this ribbon and then there's this ribbon. And the beautiful thing about this is this can always be changed. I think I'm going to go with the red. I think the pink <clears throat> looks beautiful with this. But because I chose that red border, um, I'm going to go with the red ribbon. It'll just be a little brighter. And I could hang a charm and do all that good stuff. But, wow, it's almost... My husband pointed out as I was running around decorating... He was like, Valentine's is in two weeks. And I said, okay, so I'll stop. I wound up putting both of the banners on my, I have two in our kitchen living room area. We have two gas fireplaces. So I put the banners up on those. And they're the same, same ones I did. It wasn't last year. It was a year before. So I guess that would be two years ago. I know I posted pictures on Instagram, and I know I did videos on making the um, the few like pieces. I think there's three or three on one banner, and three or four on the other banner. Different things that I made. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this up and let me know if you guys would like for me to make some of these pokey tools or paper piercing tools and because I've got a lot of beads I was actually thinking about maybe putting some on eBay and selling them I, I just have too many and then I was wrapping this uh, getting ready to wrap this up to put this away and I thought you know what I'm gonna make one of these for Valentine's and I'm gonna use this paprika jar so two questions do you want me to show a video on how easy these are to make and two, what can I use to put behind? Because I've, I've got the trees. The trees are somewhere. Oh, I've got these trees right here. So I figure if this is shorter, it would need a shorter tree. So I can dye the tree. Pretty sure I'm going to go pink. And then I need to put like a little character, something behind it. So if you guys know of anything to put behind it like this. Oh, I would love, love to um, hear your ideas. All right, so I think that's it. I am done with this adorable little project and I just leave them blank on the back. Now, if I'm gifting them, I either paint them or glue white paper on it and sign, but that's it. So I got a cute little holiday decoration. You guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Okay, so I was putting away all of my supplies in my efforts to be more organized. And I found this ribbon in a whole, like a tub full of all kinds of Valentine's stuff. I have way too much Valentine's stuff. Um, so I found a tub of this. And I think what I'm going to do, I think that would be cute. So I think that I will put this on there. And this was from, I do not believe I bought anything last year. I think this is two years ago, Walmart. Pretty sure that's way to celebrate is Walmart. 98 cents, that, that seems right. So I will just pull this off. And fix it. And the nice thing about these sturdy boards is like I was putting up my, I was putting up the, um, banners and you know everything's made of paper and I saw that even though the way I had packed I had packed everything really really well and really flat and you know you just get a little warping on paper so the beauty of this stuff it's never going to warp and where do I pick it up I pick it up I think from Ranger Inc I -N -K dot com and I think they offer free shipping when you hit a certain amount. All right. Why are you being difficult? I think it's because it's so stiff.
Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'll get this situated down and then show you the end result. I don't want to bend my stuff. Okay, there you go. It was just tough to get get this um, through. I just needed to wiggle it down a little more, but that is super cute, right? I will trim it up, and I think, I think that's good. It'll stand up. It's festive. Oh my gosh. So cute, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.